I grew up in a home where there was a lot of emotional, physical, and verbal abuse. As a child, Susan lived in fear. Her stepfather abused Susan and her sister, and Susan's mother was very cold and detached. I always felt like I wasn't loved. I always felt like I needed to reach out to be loved. When Susan was a teenager, she looked for love and meaning anywhere she could find it. She turned to drugs to fill the void, cocaine, marijuana, and alcohol. At that time, I also started to become very sexually active. Um, I explored teenage pornography. So any, everything bad that could really happen in my life was happening at that moment. Susan admits there was no place for God in her life. In fact, she blamed God for all of her problems. I knew that there was a God, but I never thought about him. I never thought to even pray, because at that point I was angry at God. I thought, well, God, if you love me, how could you put me in this situation? Susan left home when she was 17. Her stepfather, though divorced from her mom, made Susan a unique offer. He said, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you come live with me? I have an apartment. You can take all the time you need to get a side job and get your diploma and everything will work out great. And you can decide what you want to do. What seemed to be a good idea soon turned into a nightmare. He said, you're too pretty of a girl. Let's do modeling. Now, I was probably close to 17 years old at that time, and to me, that just sounded wonderful. I thought, great. Susan was convinced she would have a new life with an exciting career in modeling. So, he took me to the first call. I thought that there would be a photographer in that house, but it wasn't. There was no equipment. I had soon realized that my stepfather had made me a prostitute, and that's basically how it all started. But Susan could make a lot of money, so she let that numb her to the rest. This was the beginning of her new career. Before long, Susan got pregnant and had a son she named Colton. She also met a man named Craig, and they moved in together. Susan kept her job as a prostitute, but business slowed and they were running out of money. So I decided that I needed to go to a bigger city and that we would go up to Chicago and make a lot more money and big one big happy family. So they made the big move to Chicago. That's when bad turned to worse. Susan was busted for prostitution and put in jail. Her son was at home with a babysitter. There was no blanket. It was just a hard bench. There was no pillow. There was no water. They did not feed me. They gave me one slice of bologna with two pieces of white bread. That's it. Nothing to drink. The passing hours seemed like days. All Susan could think about was Colton. I started to feel really dehydrated. I started to feel very hungry, um, but there was nothing that I could do about it. I felt so stripped of everything, and I started to feel like there was no hope. 24 hours turned into two days. Two days turned into three. There were many times when I would call for the guard, and she wouldn't come. These guards had no mercy at all for my situation. I was basically treated like, like I didn't exist. Susan was desperate. What another inmate told her didn't help. I told you, you were never going to get out of here. There is no way out. And it was then that I broke. I started to become frantic. And I remember just shaking those cell bars and calling somebody and nobody would come, nobody would hear me. And I got down to the floor and I just said, God, whatever you do, this is my son. Don't take my son. I deserve this. But he doesn't. That was the first time that I had cried out to God in years. And I heard God say to me, you're the one that got yourself into that jail, but I'm going to get you out. But you've got to come to me. You've got to love me. This is not my will for your life. And I thought, but I'm so dirty. I'm so stained. I've committed adultery. I've slept with husbands. These, these husbands had wives. These wives don't even know what I did. I just couldn't believe it. And because I just felt so stained. And he said, I love you. And I want you to come to me. But it's got to stop now. You've got to change. While in jail, Susan accepted Jesus as her savior. And I thought to myself, I'll do whatever you want. Just get me out of here. Get me to my son. Just please let him be okay. He's just a baby. God answered Susan's prayer. 
After four days of trying to get Susan out of jail, Craig finally succeeded. Susan was released. Susan told Craig that she wanted to get out of the business. He left her, and Susan and Colton took a bus back to Florida. As I rode on that bus trip, Colton would just sit on my lap, and he would just look at me with the most beautiful baby blue eyes. And he rested his head on my shoulder, and his head stayed there. That was a very long 24 hours. But I knew that I had to change. I knew that I had to change. Three years after dedicating her life to God, Susan met Stephen. They've been happily married for 13 years and have children of their own. My marriage to Steve, I wanted to be really special. And I walked down the aisle wearing a white wedding dress and I thought, God, I'm not, I'm not worthy of this. People walk down the aisle in white wedding dress who are virgins. I am far from that. And I heard God say to me, you're, you're made as white as snow to me. Her days as a prostitute are distant memories now. But Susan will never forget what God has done for her. For a long time, I thought I wasn't worthy because I thought that nobody could possibly have a past like me. Drugs, abuse, prostitution, teenage pornography. I mean, it, to me, it didn't get any worse than that. And he has forgiven me because I have such a bigger sense of peace now that I cannot even describe. As warm as the sun feels when you walk outside and you feel that heat radiating on your hair, I can feel that warmth of God. No matter how much abuse you've had in your childhood, no matter how unloved you may feel, God is the only Father you will ever need, and He can get you through every storm.